Hello everyone, let's uh, do a quick reading about uh, what will bring you happiness right now. So we have uh, four piles, so you can uh, pick between first pile, second pile, third pile or fourth pile. And uh, it will be a short reading, so let's go into it if you've chosen. So for the first pile, uh, we have uh, two of wands. Oh, this is about uh, advancement and uh, exploration and uh, new prospects. Uh, so basically here, uh, what would uh, bring you happiness the most is uh, any kind of action. Basically, you need to um, just... Um, uh, go out of your comfort zone so it can be in any kind of matter a uh, new partner travel walk taking a walk you know uh, doing uh, any kind of new project you know uh, just uh, leaving your comfort zone to venture into some unfamiliar territory because maybe you are fed up with uh, whatever is uh, um, behind you or something like that but uh, now uh, you need some bold and uh, fearless action uh, you know to to make to make the decision to uh, leave the comfort of your home of your job or whatever uh, is there uh, currently with you uh, just uh, so you can uh, have uh, some personal growth uh, uh, and uh, you know uh, it would be good for you to take some risk you know go and talk to that person or go and do you know um, any kind of uh, even smallest action that is uh, different than uh, your usual routine and uh, immediately they, uh, it would uh, uh, bring you more joy and uh, happiness so basically yes you have to take the risk but uh, also to have a backup plan uh, because uh, this risk uh, is just about uh, you learning uh, more about uh, yourself and exploring, you know, in the, any kind of matter, in your relationships, your projects, work, uh, whatever. So uh, just uh, to get out of your uh, daily routines, you know, to have some short trip or... Um, you know some uh, meet new people maybe talk to different people you know have some um, interesting conversations anything like that like uh, socializing uh, all those things uh, would be uh, beneficial for you uh, to get you uh, more happiness right now so um, thank you and uh, let's move on second pile let's see what you have you have the star card so this is about uh, inspiration and serenity it's about authenticity uh, this is aquarius energy uh, so basically um <clears throat> uh, you uh, to uh, have uh, more happiness here Okay, uh, you are uh, ready to step into the spotlight to show off your many talents and uh, your authenticity, your creative spirit, your individuality and so on. Um, this is uh, if you are in uh, some kind of a heal state emotionally, mentally, physically, whatever. Uh, if you feel that uh, you're there, then uh, you should uh, show it off, you know, uh, be the spotlight and um, uh, get attention from other people. Um, is uh, something that uh, would uh, bring you uh, happiness uh, but um, if uh, you are in a wounded state and uh, you are getting your happiness already um, from attention from other people uh, actually uh, you know then uh, what would uh, bring you real happiness uh, in that case uh, would be a radical acceptance of yourself for exactly who you are uh, so that you are opening door to allow others to see your vulnerabilities and to see your uniqueness and uh, uh, you know 
uh, all the ways in which you are different uh, from the rest, uh, which is also what makes you stand out. Okay, so so basically, um, you know, recognizing your own worth is something that would bring you um, true happiness uh, right now, uh, even if uh, currently you are. Um, you know, making yourself feeling better uh, by taking all of the attention uh, from other people, uh, underlying, uh, uh, deep down, you know, underlying issue uh, could be with your worthiness and all of these things uh, discussed, because, uh, yes, this is uh, uh, also the, the card of uh, hope and uh, healing, uh, you know, so, yeah, you need uh, some kind of inspiration, uh, some creative work, you know, just discovering your talents, doing uh, something for uh, your heart, something for your soul, you know, something that, um, I don't know, it can be anything with a star, right, uh, regarding your talents and your uniqueness. Uh, but you should uh, definitely dive into that uh, before, um, you know, um, uh, come into the crowd and uh, uh, going into the spotlight, right? Uh, with maybe um, so some same old things that you are doing and that are not attending to you, uh, maybe, or something that everyone else is doing as well. Uh, so, you know, actually, um, you appreciating yourself for... Uh, for all the ways in which you are different than all of the rest um, would uh, would actually uh, bring you happiness. And then, of course, you would be able to uh, appreciate uniqueness of all other uh, people around you. And, uh, you know, yeah, and that's about it for your message. Thank you. And uh, let's move on. Uh, welcome, pile uh, three. Let's see your... Um, cards i got uh, two cards here uh so yes ten of wands is about duty responsibility and obligation it could be uh, uh, some kind of martyr like a uh, being martyr uh, energy, you know, some kind of heaviness and resentment in your life right now, you know, and uh, you are persisting and you are pushing uh, forward, uh, hardworking, uh, achieving uh, accomplishments and so on. Uh, but basically what would uh, bring you most happiness right now with the Four of Swords is to take a rest, you know, uh, to recharge and uh, have some rest. Uh, you should consider expanding and delegating your tasks so that you are not carrying all the weight on your shoulders. You should, uh, you know, um, prioritize your uh, peace and your rest and your healing. Uh, you could be mentally, you know, um, uh, overwhelmed as well, you know. So basically... Um, uh, for you, uh, happiness, more happiness would come if you can identify, uh, you know, um, if you stop, you know, uh, thinking that um, you must uh, uh, push and go forward and uh, go on uh, regardless uh, of how you feel. You know, because you are obviously overwhelmed uh, with something either on your mind or physically um, in your life, like uh, duties and responsibilities. And uh, you really need a helping hand uh, from someone and uh, time for you to, uh, you know, rest and uh, someone to help you release the weight of these burdens so that you are able to uh, prioritize yourself in some kind of a situation um, so that uh, you know you don't have to do everything uh, by yourself this is uh, um, what you need to understand uh, to you know uh, allow yourself um you know, to to 
feel to to feel better okay i, I don't see a uh, big uh, happiness coming uh, from this but uh, you know if you need to um sleep more you know or just chill more uh, it's best for you to do that and uh, to you know some close some tabs you know open tabs in your mind regarding uh, uh, many different things and uh, put it aside uh, for for a minute right you you uh, need to give yourself a moment uh, to 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 breathe and to recharge your engine uh, so that you have enough energy for the next challenge ahead and not to get sick or something you know you need a period of pause and uh, to reflect and to course correct if it's needed, you know, to prioritize different things, uh, delegate some responsibility to other people and to make some correction of the course that you are taking. Uh, right now, it would be good for you to spend some time uh, in silence and um, so that you are able to, you know, uh, feel your gut uh, and to follow your gut and to follow your intuition regarding uh, uh, what you're doing and how you're feeling. And uh, so for everything, uh, you, you need to, to be rested first, you know. Um, so what we uh, would bring uh, most uh, happiness uh, to you right now is to completely realign yourself uh, back to your values values and your uh, purpose uh, to regenerate your power you know and uh, basically yeah this is some uh, course correction that you need to do because it's uh, it's a lot of heavy burden right now uh, for you so anyhow thank you very much and uh, let's let's move on uh welcome uh, pile uh, four and uh, let's see what you have you have uh, the full card which is you know all about new beginnings and uh, being free spirited living in the moment uh, so uh, basically what would bring uh, most uh, happiness for you right now is uh, to let go of any expectations and to go with the flow um, to you know venture into the unknown territories in any area of your life that you feel like just uh, to do things uh, as you feel like doing them at any given moment right like a free spirit um, and to be a pioneer of some new phase of your uh, life, uh, to have more carefree attitude and, um, you know, discover uh, yourself in new ways to explore new options and so on. Uh, also, uh, during this process, because this is uh, taking a risk, you need to uh, heavily rely on your on trusting your gut right um so uh, basically uh letting go and uh, you know uh, letting go of, of uh, uh something and uh, moving forward to new things uh would uh, bring you most happiness uh, at this moment and uh, you know uh, with this rose, uh, it's something about your uh, creativity, expressing yourself uh, creatively and uh, freely and uh, openly. And uh, also, you know, uh, spending time with uh, people that uh, uh, have uh, good intentions, uh, that are loyal to you, that are loyal to themselves, you know, uh, just uh, moving on to, you know, uh, that kind of environment uh, basically we had a similar um a similar message for the pile one but uh, this is emphasized uh, by being uh, you know major arcana card uh, so you know uh, you you will get more happiness uh, with this careless uh, attitude uh, in a sense that 
there is no need to worry with these new beginnings, right? But you will not be foolish or naive uh, because uh, you will, uh, you know, um, uh, be able to trust your gut and, you you know, you will uh, teach yourself to to trust your gut uh, on this uh, new journey, you know, letting go uh, anything... Um, that is uh, stopping you uh, from uh, turning a new page in your life, uh, basically, something like that. Uh, so thank you very much for everyone tuning in and uh, see you next time. Bye.